<laughs> yeah, so a priest and a rabbi were sitting on a park bench. <laughs> um, just kidding. We're here to talk about Steve. <laughs> That's my obligation. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, um, stories about running naked alone with my oldest friend building socks out and down the street. Um, that was weird. <laughs> I spoke with Graham last night. He said that you proposed and tried to convince him like naked twister or something. <laughs> British folks. <laughs> I knew about some of these fetishes of yours. I might not have. Uh, but anyway, um, some of you know I, I met Steve about seven or eight years ago. I'm a personal trainer. He was originally a client of mine, and. Uh, you know, he basically paid me a lot of money to beat the hell out of him. <laughs> and I, you know, I did tell him that there were no health or fitness benefits to our workout, but he just kept on coming anyway. <laughs> and I think that's actually how we bonded. We were both into self-abuse and pain in the pursuit of health and fitness. Um, uh, and I don't know where we got that from, from our parents or whatever, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> You guys all. <laughs> um, but as time went by, we have uh, we evolved as friends, and eventually uh, he mustered up the confidence to ask me a question. He uh, it was a tough question for him. Uh, it was almost like asking me out on a date. You know, I knew he was nervous, and later on he told me he had butterflies over the whole thing and nausea and anxiety. And, so and uh, basically, uh, it was a very serious question for someone like him. And uh, it, it went like this, like uh, it said, it said, hey Mike, uh, do you have a bike? Do you like, to, do you like riding? <laughs> I said, uh, no, Steve, that's gay. <laughs> and I, I, I think my, my initial reaction hurt his feelings. <laughs> In the aftermath, I'm actually uh, happy that it did because uh, Steve is one of those jackasses <laughs> that thinks you're a lower form of human being if you don't ride a bike or you uh, ride it. Actually, he looks at you like you're some second-class citizen. Um, and you know, he tries to come across as a as a perfect gentleman, the perfect gentleman. <laughs> and uh, on the surface, he's pretty good at faking this all out. Um, yeah, I mean, he appears to be successful. <laughs> After all, this is no small house or piece of land. Um, and I guess he's kind of handsome. Which, if you're a good shyster, you do have to be concerned yourself with your appearance. He's British. Which I guess with that accent makes you sound like you're more intelligent. I know that we have a lot of English people here. But come on, with a bloody shite. <laughs> hey, I speak the Queen's English. I must be smarter than you are. Oh, it's four o'clock. We have to get our tea. I'm oh, miserable without my tea. <laughs> my tea kettle. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fitz T. <laughs> 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 